I've just put together this uh, Axial Flux alternator. Uh, this is a test run of um, what I'm trying to make. And I hope I learned something in the process. Um, the completed, well, not quite completed uh, unit uh, has two magnet plates and um, I have six coils and I have two rectifiers here. I have three wires coming out and going into uh, these two rectifiers here. Uh, I have a lot of voltage with this setup uh, because the wires I'm using is very thin, it's 27 gauge and um, I can uh, get a lot of voltage out of it. The amps is probably not that great so um, as a test I just tied up uh, 8 uh, LEDs, 3.3 uh, volts uh, LED in series and uh, as you can see it's gonna light it uh, with a spin and I don't know if you can look at the uh, meter there. Uh, it goes over 20 volts very easily. It goes up to 30, it can go up to 30 volts. So that's what it is. Uh, I'm gonna take it apart and uh, let you look at it. It is by no means uh, completed yet. Uh, I have a problem with the spacing of the uh, uh, magnet plates and the coils that I have. Uh, I just scraped together what magnets I have and um, the square ones are quarter inch, one, one inch square magnets. The other ones are uh, three quarter inch of uh, various sizes. Uh, I don't know if you can see, I have three one-eighth one here. It's like mix and match. I know that's not the way it's supposed to go, but that's, those are the magnets I have. And like I said, the spacing is not that great because um, I just have these bearings here I'm using as spacers. Uh, the coils, uh, I don't know if uh, it's going to come out well, but here I, I have six coils. Uh, I have another magnet plate below. Uh, okay, when I spin the bottom plate, you can see the uh, wrong magnet magnets just kind of uh, goes around and the magnet goes I guess inside the hole. I have eight little magnets there. The spacing again is not uh, is not correct. There's, there's a ton of space between the magnet and the coils. So I have to uh, either get the uh, correct spacers or I'm gonna add more magnets. I guess that's the easier way to do it. Uh, this is not finished, of course. I'm just testing it to see if it works at all. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to uh, cast the stator or anything at this stage because uh, it it might not work that well. Uh, I'm basically trying to learn from this. Uh, the three AC faces comes out from the stator. Uh, this is wide in a star connection, I think, and um, two AC faces go into this dial bridge rectifier. I added uh, two capacitors. One is a thousand microfarad, and the other is a three hundred something microfarad uh, capacitors that I took out from um, a scrap uh, parts. Uh, that I had before. Um, this one here is uh, this one here. I don't know if you can see. 
this is uh, another dial bridge rectifier. I think this is 1N4007 uh, uh, dials. Um, I think uh, I won't be overpowering or uh, burning these out anytime soon with the uh, small output that I have. But uh, as you can see, uh, I stopped spinning this uh, quite a while ago and uh, it's still showing 17 volts uh, on the uh, meter there. Uh, so what I have to do is maybe add more magnets, maybe find some better spacings, spacers for this. Uh, I have problems with the bearings. Uh, they don't spin all that well. But uh, I haven't found any suitable bearings for this. I haven't actually glued anything down. This is just, I stuck it on there. And so this goes over. There's a lot of gap here, so there's not it's not going to be a problem with this crushing my fingers. Uh, so, with this, as I, as I was showing you before, it's uh, gives, giving me a lot of uh, voltage. And when all th eight of them are in series, it will be like 23, 20. 24 volts or more. Uh, the ends are, like I said, a little lacking, but then I'm not building a, a powerhouse here. I'm just trying to make something, something that would work uh, as an experiment. So basically, I have two plexiglass here, and then I have uh, a lot of magnets inside. And a couple of five eight nuts to hold the thing in place, uh, so I can do the test. And six coils, three phase. And um, I hope I can um, maybe narrow the gap. This is uh, very similar in output to my uh, ceiling fan motor from Muddy. Uh, the only difference is this spins very freely, even with uh, with uh, without any uh, real good bearings uh, for this uh, alternator. You can you can hear you can hear the noise because I need I need something to uh, hold this down so it wouldn't make the noise. And this is an old saw blade that I had for over, I don't know how many years. It, it lost a couple of teeth. So, uh, it was actually working quite well with uh, one magnet plate. Uh, it was lighting up uh, the same number of uh, dials. I don't, I, didn't, I don't really know how much uh, the extra plate in the bottom uh, adds to the output. Uh, it probably does because they all say you should have uh, uh, a dual magnet plate. Uh, anyway, uh, there's no cogging, so th that's very good. Uh, I was actually thinking of uh, making a uh, simple, simple board like this. Uh, I don't know if you can see too well. This is the uh, vault um, designed for a smaller unit um, by Ad Lens. So this setup here is uh, maybe twice as big. So maybe I can try doubling the size of that little vault there and uh, and see if it would. Uh, produce any kind of uh, electricity at all.
Okay. You can see it went up to over 20, over 25 volts. So this uh, voltage doubler circuit uh, really works. I guess you can uh, put any uh, decent size uh, capacitors in this uh, rectifier circuit.